everyone, in this chapter, we are going to talk about how to set up and design multi-layer PCBs. When you create a new PCB, the system will give you a two-layer board by default, just a top layer and a bottom layer. But if you need a four-layer, six-layer, eight-layer board, or even more, you will have to use the layer manager. You can find the layer manager in the toolbar under Tools or by clicking the layer icon in the properties panel on the right. Once it's open, you'll see the default copper layers are just two. If you want a four-layer board, simply switch it to four. The system can support up to 32 copper layers. One thing to note here, EDA tools don't let you directly create a single-layer board, but there's a trick. You can still design on a double layer board and when you export the global files, just check only the layer you need. Now let's say we want a 4 layer board after switching to 4 layers. The system will automatically add 2 inner layers. You can rename them. For example, call the first one VCC and the second one GND. Then you can set them either as signal layers or as plan zone. If it's set to a signal layer, you can route traces and place copper for fill, just like on the top and the bottom. If it's set to a plan zone, you can't route traces, instead you draw split lines to divide power and ground errors. In this example, let's keep both inner layers as signal layers. While routing, we can quickly switch layers with hotkeys. Pressing one or two will jump to the corresponding layer. Now let's talk about wells. By default, the system uses raw holes, but you can also set up blind or boring wells if you need it. What, what's the difference? Through hole wells go all the way from the top to the bottom. They are the most common, cheap, and simple. But they take up space on every layer, which isn't ideal for high-density designs. Blind wires only connect from the top or bottom to one or more inner layers, without going through the whole board. Boring wires are completely inside the inner layers and don't show on the outside. Blind or boring wires save space and are great for higher density PCBs, but the process is more complex and the cost goes up. If you want to use blind or boring wells, you first need to define them in the design rules. For example, you could set wells from top to VCC, VCC to GND, or VCC to bottom Then, while routing, hold Ctrl and right-click to switch layers. The system will automatically match the right line or boring well, and it will even highlight them in different colors so you can recognize them easily. Beside wells, Path on a multi-layer board will also connect to other layers automatically. And you can customize path shapes per layer, which is handy for special optimization. Finally, let's go back to single layer boards. If you only need the pop layer, just go to Global Export, select Custom Config, and only check top thing like top copper, top solar mask, and top silk screen. That way, your exported files are for a single layer PCB, no need to start a new single layer design. So, to sum up, two layer boards are the default and fit most common projects. Smart layer boards can be flexibly set up with the layer manager. You can choose between single layer and plan zone. Single
Single layer board can be done by exporting only the layer you want. And that's how you set up and design single layer and multi-layer PCBs. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.